Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to use DeepSeek AI to create a custom tools for our website. We can create any type of tools and we are not write any kind of code. All code are generated by the, our DeepSeek AI. Before go to this video, if you not subscribe the channel, then subscribe the channel and also click on the bell icon. So let's go to our video. First go to the DeepSeek and click on start now and log in with your DeepSeek. After that here, I paste my prompt. You can paste any kind of the prompt or create or type any kind of the prompt that you want. In this case, I want to generate three files, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And I want to compress image. I want to drag and drop and compress image and then save that image on our PC or laptop or mobile or anywhere. And this process is done on the our browser, not on the our backend. There is not saving options or not save any kind of image on the our server or, or on our website. It's all done on the user interface. Okay. Now here we find the submit button, submit it. And it's create three files, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And then we upload that three files on the, our server and that give our tools, our compression tool or the custom tools for the our website. Wait for to wait for some minutes or few seconds to generate our code. Now three codes are generated. First is the script.js, JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. And we have to copy this code one by one and create index index.html, then styles.css, and last is scripts.css. And I create on my local server these three files index.html, script.js, and style styles. CSS. But if you want to add this all things in a single file, that is also simple. I type it here and hit enter. Now it's generate only HTML file and that HTML file, it's include CSS and JavaScript. Wait for to create this file and it's also run on this web browser also. Code is generated. If you want to run this on this web browser, then click right here, run HTML. And here we find the upper website. Click right here. And we are going to the upper files. Double click on our files. And here is the, our original file. Here is the, our compressed dot or compressed image. Click on download compressed image and it's downloaded on the upper PC, laptop or mobile. Now we are going to include this on the our website. First I include in my local server and after on the my website. So I click on the copy. I go to the my server. In this case, I install. Here we find I install VAMP server and it is running. So I go to the this PC. In this PC, I go to the C drive VAM. And I first go to the my www folder. I create one folder test. In this test, I have three files. I remove these three files and I create one file. I right click on it and go to the new and text document. And I give index or any name that I want. I give the index dot HTML. Yes, I want to change. After that, I click on this file, right click on this file and click on edit in notepad and paste the, our code. Then go to the file, save. After that, go to the, our local server and refresh the, our page. And here we find the our image compress tool. Click it here and drag any file or click on any file that you want. Here is the, our original file. Here is the, our compressor file. Download compressor image. After that, I go to the here. I minimize it and go to the desktop and drag any file from here. I drag this file and drag it to the here. And also this file is appear at, at here. I drag this file so we can see the difference. Here we find our two files and we are also download this file. 
I go to the here and I drag this file to here and compare these two files. Here we find our this file, original file and this is the our newly created compressed file. Right click on it, click on the properties. It is an 7.69 MB. Now I go to this file and go to the properties and here we find 3.26 MB. It is an half of this file. Now we are going to add our this script or the this code to the our website that is also easy easy and simple. I have one website. Here I click on the discoverabhi.com. It is in my website name. In this website, I want to add uh, this code. So I go to the files. I go to the files. In a files, I create a new test test folder or the my test folder. I create a test folder. So I click at here plus button. Click on create a folder. So I create a directory and type test and hit OK. Now test folder is created. Go to the test. In a test, I want to add one file or I create a new file at this point. Right click on it or click at here plus button and here we find create a file. Give the file name. I give you give the my dot html. You can give any file name that you want. Click at here. Open this file and paste the our code. Paste this code at here. Save it. After that, I go to the my website abi.com discover abi.com. In this website, I save it in the test my my html my dot html. Okay, here we find the our website and here we find the our image compressor on our website. Click at here. Drag any file that you want. I drag this file this time. And here is the our original image and here is the our compressed image. Click on the download image and it is downloaded. Now I go to the drag and drop. I drag this image. And this is the, our original image and this is our compressed image. Click on the download and it is also download. So guys, this is the simplest way to use DeepSeek AI to create a custom tools for any kind of the custom tools, not a this kind of, you can create any kind of the tools. There are many possibilities to create a custom tools for your website. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.